today women in Georgia lost the right to choose their futures. We are now being governed by one of the most bans in the nation. It is a six-week abortion ban, which means that women lose their right to choose before they know they're pregnant. And this is happening in the state where we have 82 counties without an OBGYN. It's more than half the state. We have 18 counties that have no general uh, danger. Right. This in fact made it lethal for women to live in the state of Georgia. And so what, can, what happens going forward? Electing U.S. governor, electing Democratic legislators in Georgia to change this state law. In the meantime, what can you what can you tell the women of Georgia they can do? Sadly, the only thing they can do is travel to another state, and the closest state is North Carolina. It's the right to full reproductive care is still available. And so sadly, we are going to watch women risk their lives. We've seen it happen in Texas, where a woman was investigated for miscarriage. We have seen what happened in Ohio. We've seen what's happened. What is so disturbing to me is that because he did not commit treason, Brian Kemp is being treated as either a anti-Trump moderate or a fiscal conservative. He is neither. This is a hard right. He is a hard right religious extremist who has decided to force women either into pregnancy or into jail. Those are their choices now. And that is wrong in the state of Georgia. It's wrong for America. And we need a governor who is committed to doing what's right. And that's why I encourage everyone to go to StaceyAbrams.com to learn more about my plan to protect the women of Georgia.